Jama, welcome. Uh, welcome to the Guild. Um, the University of Pompeo Fabra is one of uh, the foremost universities of the Iberian Peninsula, but it's managed to do this within only three decades. Um, what do you consider to be the recipe for the success of Pompeo Fabra? We have had the occasion of choosing a very good staff. Then we have stay at this level. Everyone has to have the feeling of being involved in the selection of the colleagues. Mm. This is something that has happened uh, nowadays and in the beginning. And perhaps this is our secret. Afterwards, there are something, how to say, in the shape of the university. This is this kind of mutual belonging of teaching and research, of, of education uh, in the sense of at the same time teaching and research, but, but something really uh, engage one to, to, to another. Education, research is something that is at every moment concerning the singularity of what are you doing and the universal aspiration of the, of, of, of the truth, how do mm. you say it? Mm. The quality of your staff uh, mm. up to the highest international standards, that's, you've just mentioned that this is a, a, a critical to the success of, of Pompeo Fabra. Um, you are already in, a, in the vibrant city of uh, Barcelona. You have a large international community. You're engaged in the Utopia University Alliance. Um, so you could argue that your ambition to be truly international has already been achieved. So what does your membership of the Guild uh, bring to your international ambitions? In Catalonia and especially in Barcelona, we need to be very international because we are in a very international city, uh, an important city in Europe. We need to be seen as a community uh, committed to the knowledge and not just to tourism and to be international for us is our possibility of stay a good university and perhaps a better university. So, so we are the, at the moment at a very distinctive point in Europe where the next generation EU recovery, uh, recovery package um, has been created to mitigate the consequences of the pandemic. And so in, um, as a result of this, Spain will double its, invest, its investment, as I understand, in research and innovation for the next two years. Yes. So is, is this necessary from your perspective? Why is this necessary? And are you also confident that this increased investment can be sustained beyond 2023 when this money runs out? I see that the government of Madrid has to put money in projects not invented to use correctly this uh, new generation funds, for example, but to the projects that in some way are enough elaborated to have a result, an immediate result for the money. Immediate, I mean the next years. We have a very uh, strong project for the city of Barcelona uh, and for the science in Barcelona to unify our campus of social sciences our teaching hospitals and the biomedical uh, um, uh, park of research is just beside the hospital to unify that, to make very strong projects around planetary well-being. If we talk a little bit more specifically about innovation, which is uh, also a, a core aspect of, of uh, Pompeo Fabra's identity, um, not only through your innovative teaching models, but also through projects like UPF Ventures. Yes. Can you tell us a bit more about these initiatives and how they are related to your research excellence? Spain is not a very, a very strong country in, in big industries that spend a lot of money in research. What we have, in fact, is medium and, and small uh, companies that are not uh, enough accustomed to collaborate with basic researchers to try to improve their results. But we are trying to, to work with several companies as we are a little bit under this flag 
planetary well-being. Moving quickly to, to education, um, I mean, it, you know, you've mentioned this on a number of uh, places already, but in a sense, as a leading university um, in Spain and beyond, how do you prepare your students for the future in a, in a, in a world that's ch changing really very quickly? The short answer is trying to put them inside not only some education in the sense of teaching, but also in the sense of from the first moment, the impulse of research has to be inside our teaching. The, the Spanish system is from the first year, you are already in the in, the, in this sort of, of tube inside which you are going to become a lawyer or a doctor uh, or an economist mm -hmm. or a, a, a philosopher, mm -hmm. etc. We, we are trying to break uh, this, this system. When you have an engineer, uh, an engineer that, that is a good reader of uh, the best uh, books of the history of humanity, you have not only a best person, you have a best engineer. 